Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Today we are at Overland Expo Mountain West. We're in front of the Battleborn booth at the moment. Uh, we're going to be doing a presentation later, but before we do that, we are going to go around and find all the coolest campers gear product and anything else we can find that we want to show you guys. So let's go. Four-wheel pop-up campers have been one of my favorite slide-in truck bed campers for a while. They've been around for 50 years, and they have three different main models. They have a truck topper model that goes on top of a truck bed, a slide-in model that goes inside of a truck bed, and then a flatbed model that goes on top of a flatbed. That gives you some extra room for extra storage if you're wanting to make a more permanent modification to your truck. Boris Campers is based out of Pueblo, Colorado, and they are one of the more rugged tow behind campers. Definitely going to be great for anywhere that you're having to scrape against limbs and stuff like that to get to the campsite that you're at. Uh, really rugged exterior as well as really, uh, I would say like functional and durable interior. So it's not super, super pretty, quote unquote. It looks nice, but it's probably not going to get beat up quite as much as a more nice looking camper. Luxury. Luxury camp. Super cool. Topo Toppers is based out of Ventura, California, and they make a pop up tent style truck bed camper that is pretty lightweight and a lot easier to kind of remove. If you, if you wanna be using your truck for regular purposes, but it collapses down and pops back up for camping. Okay, this isn't a camper, but this is cool as fuck. Ford F100, right? Old school, rust on the rails. It's great, right? Look at this, here's the gas cap. Not a gas cap. Check this out. All the specs of the motors right here, but the thing is, is it's electric. So it got a big ass electric motor under the hood. First van category in this video is going to be Storyteller Overland. Uh, so they have a really good use of space in their van, I think. So the garage area has got the water on one side and then the power system on the other side, similar to how we're doing in our transit. But the bed up top folds down half on this side, half on the other side. And that's pretty nice for things like if you're trying to bring your mountain bike along, but you also don't want to take the front wheel off. And so it's a little taller. So great use of space here by Storyteller Overland. Van Do It is pretty much the masters of 8020. They have it down to a fine art. And the reason they do that is because of maximum modularity. Everything that they have in their van can be taken apart, removed, mixed and matched with other different modules and stuff like that. Everything's 8020. And so if you've seen on our channel, we're working with it as well. And it works out perfectly for being able to mix and match these components. Wolf Riggs is a upfitter out of Inglewood, Colorado, and they make these um, 
Uh, all these expedition rigs out of the Humvee chassis. And we wanted to show this one to you because it's unique. Uh, we haven't seen really any other Humvee chassis campers here just yet. And this one thought it was kind of unique also because we could all stand in here side by side and it's not really that cramped. Grace is sitting on a queen size bed at this point, uh, which is super fun and it's built out really nicely. We'll show the outside right now as well as having some mosaic work in the shower of the bathroom. Really cool build. Next up is Nimble Vehicles out of Colfax, California, Northern California. They make a truck bed camper that is uh, pretty much permanently affixed to the truck. This is a huge F550 uh, with a single rear wheel conversion and the electrical system on it is pretty much what we teach on the Explorers Life channel, which is awesome to see out in the field with two Battleborn Game Changer 3.0, 270 amp hour batteries with a multi plus 3K inverter charger and a 100 amp hour Victron buck boost. The interior is all built out, has a nicely finished RV type of setup uh, for all the creature comforts of home. We had a really great time at Overland Expo. If you've never been to one before, it's a great opportunity to get hands-on with a bunch of products that you might not be able to find locally. And even if you aren't looking for a particular product, Overland Expo is a great way to check out some awesome vehicles and get some inspiration for your own projects. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week.